I'm finally sharing part two of the bedroom remodel, so stay tuned to see how we finished it. Here's a quick recap of where we ended in part one. In this video, we're sharing all the finishes. We did some flooring ourselves, added all the trim and painting, so stay tuned to see how it all comes together. I'll show you what we did so far. We decided to uh, take over and finish the drywall work. So we sanded it, primed it, it's already painted. It's not perfect, but it's done. We still have to fill in these gaps here where the walls come together. We painted the paneling and today we're gonna paint the ceilings. This color is called Deep Breath and it's by Bear. It's a deep teal color and it really makes the space feel so cozy. If you're wondering why we're using these small rollers, <laughs> I read in a blog post that because these are lighter, it'll be easier and it's true. Your arms are gonna hurt reaching up, so. All right, so it has been a couple days <laughs> since we did the ceiling and we did start the floor. And this is a vinyl flooring. Here's the, um, the brand we got. We did go to a home outlet store. So and we got these for a very good price. So I am starting this row with a cut piece. This would have an edge like this, but this is a cutoff. And the next piece is going to connect here. So this will click in this way and the next piece will connect here and that way to the next one. So, and you want to do that to stagger the seams. And it's super simple, it just, this is called click and lock. You just put it, push it in and drop it down. And then, I'm just using a cutoff piece and a rubber mallet to kind of tap it in and engage it. And that really closes up any gap here. Okay, so for this piece, this next one, in the instructions it says connect the long end first and then this side but we struggled doing it that way. So if you get something similar to this, um, with this thin locking mechanism, try it this way, it may, be, it may work better. So what we did is just get this side um, all the way in and put this edge as close as you can without going over, then, lift and kind of you want to lift and push at the same time. You can see how that comes together nicely. This process took a few days because of all the cutting and figuring this vinyl flooring out. We did all the cutting inside because winter, but I used a combination of a utility knife and my jigsaw to get around all the corners and angles that needed to be cut. Floors are finally done. Well, almost. We'll still have to add a transition <laughs> in the doorways, but Everything else is done. We are working on trim now. I've been working on cutting the pieces. I will insert a clip. I've been working on the porch and it is freezing today, so there's that. But here's what I did. I just measured and cut everything that needed to be cut at an angle. And we're gonna put those up with the nail gun. We did decide to just use three inch uh, square trim for the baseboards and the uh, trim up higher on the wall 
So I did mark the stud placement along the floor to make this process go smoother. And after we had everything up, we did some caulking in all the seams. And we had a helper who was very eager to put in work on the step. Here's a quick reminder of how this phase started before turning it into a bedroom. And here is where we are now. We still have a few recall items to work on, like filling in nail holes, painting the trim, and finishing off uh, the trim piece in front of the fireplace. But we have been moved into the space and we are so happy with the result of this renovation. Let me know your thoughts on this project down in the comments and stick around if you want to see all the other changes we'll be making to this fixer upper home. Thanks for watching.